This is going to be the warmest Perfect. January fit in the history of Austin, Texas. Is that right? I think so. It's beautiful. That's my, that's my education. I don't think it could have been any better. Marriage is not the invention of man, it is the invention of God. And your marriage is to honor God because it was created by God and for the glory of God. And as in all things in life, what matters most in marriage is God. Dear Graham Ryan Preston. Madeline Grace Allen. I want to preface by saying my love for you could never fit into a one-page letter, so please don't see this as a summary, but rather a glimpse of my heart for you and the love God has built between us. We've seen massive highs and significant challenge both over this relationship so far. But the constant through it all, Jesus Christ, whom we serve, through whom all creation exists and is upheld. Is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you. Song of Solomon 5 9 says, What is your beloved more than another beloved, O most beautiful among women? The others here ask the bride what makes her beloved so special. As I've been reading Song of Solomon in preparation for the wedding, this verse struck me. I want to use this letter to tell you why you are more than another beloved, why you are the man I'm unbelievably grateful God selected to be my groom, my prince. Graham and Madeline, your marriage exists because of the gospel, and it must be built upon the gospel. Your marriage is not to say to the world, look at this perfect couple, though some may say that. But your marriage is to say to the world, look at two people who are sinners and in need of grace, and have found that grace in Jesus. Madeline, I haven't seen you yet, but you are absolutely drop dead, raised to new life, beautiful. Today, I just know that I'm going to fall apart when I see you coming down the aisle. And today, the whole world is going to stop in their tracks as the most beautiful, lovely, kind, loyal, fierce, and radiant woman meets me at the end of that aisle. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son. For God so loved, he gave. For God so loved, he sacrificed. The Bible describes the Son of God, Jesus, as the groom, and the church is described as his bride. The Son expresses his love for his bride in self-sacrifice, absolute self-sacrifice, love that knows no end, love that goes to a cross and is resurrected. The church expresses her love to the one that gives everything for her. The bride joyfully submits to her loving head, acknowledging him as her leader and following gladly where he leads. Graham and Madeline, this is the marriage to which I know your marriage will point. Graham and Madeline stand here today because they believe that it is God's sovereign and providential will that they commit to one another and become one flesh. God has directed their steps in such a way to put all of you in their lives and to bring them to one another, and we gather here today according to the will of God. And so I'm honored to be here today, not only to lead the service, but also as your friend. So now, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ our Lord, in the presence of God and these assembled witnesses, I pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, not only for being here tonight, but for everything that you've done to pour into us over the years that's brought us to this point. We, uh, we certainly wouldn't be, you know, here without any of you guys. 
our relationship with the Lord wouldn't be the same, our relationship with one another wouldn't be the same. If there's anything that I want to encourage you guys in, anything I want to impress upon you, is to remember that tonight is about Jesus, tonight's about the Lord and our marriage. Is, is only worth celebrating because God came down to this earth and ransomed sinful people to himself through his son, Jesus Christ. And that Jesus Christ is coming back for his kids, which is all who believe in him and trust in him. And that marriage is the one that our marriage will Lord willing point to for the rest of our lives. Thank you for being here. Enjoy yourselves tonight. <laughs> it's been overwhelming. <laughs> Exuberant. Exuberant. Joyful. Overflowing. Not just married. So much more. Marriage is so much. Graham, you are a man after God's own heart. You were passionate about Jesus, serving and leading. I'm literally the luckiest man in the whole world because the God of the universe saw it fit to put a dumb boy like me alongside the most wonderful woman who's ever lived. You are more than another beloved because of the way you love. I have never known a man to love a woman as well as you love me. Father God, there is no place on this earth that I'd rather be than right here, seeing your work in bringing Graham and Madeline together. We rejoice in their love for one another. We rejoice in their love for you. And above all, we rejoice in your love for us. I, Graham, take you, Madeline. I, Madeline, take you, Graham. As my lawfully and spiritually wedded wife. As my lawfully and spiritually wedded husband. I promise to forsake all others and cleave only to you. I promise to love and to honor to comfort and to spiritually build you up. I take you from this day forward. For better or for worse. In riches and in poverty. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. I promise to pray for you. To seek to understand you. To grant you honor as a fellow heir of the grace of life. To forgive you as God has forgiven me. I promise to give myself up to you. And to be in loving submission to you as the head of our home. Therefore, I receive you as God's lovely gift to me. Therefore, I receive you as God's lovely gift to me.